One wouldn't think of uh, traveling for three months in the U.S. without joining uh, so many activities that take place all around the year in different parts of the countries to get a taste of what life is like in those different yet United States. So you visit here an open concert in the open air and you watch the huge waterfall Niagara or a game of whatever sport because it's according to seasons from basketball to baseball to football to uh, hockey. Uh, so you combine the benefit, the education, the uh, uh, fun, and most of all, and above it all, it is the opportunity to meet the American, the American person, and to know and to try to know what makes an American kick. What the American thinks like, what he thinks about, how you can establish common ground, if not friendship, with those people. That's why, I, that's how I planned my travel, making use of as much as possible of what the U.S. offers. For uh, uh, the younger generation uh, and the uh, new uh, rising stars who would be fortunate, like some of us, to go on such fellowships. I suggest that they plan it carefully. They have time to plan it. The nice thing about Eisenhower Fellowship, much like similar well-organized activities, is that they give you plenty of time to think about what you want to do, whom you want to see, and what you want to accomplish. It is absolutely important for the one who is chosen, for him or her, to decide first and foremost, before everything else, on the objectives that he would like or she would like to achieve, what they want to do, and what they want to come back with. Once this golden opportunity is over, the important thing it's for them to plan almost every step of the way. Of course, there will be chances, there will be surprises, like uh, their birthday comes, you know, and, and someone will throw a party with uh, souffle or whatever. Yeah? But the important thing is that they plan.